Hey there science fans! Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of steam turbines. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of steam turbines, those incredible machines that are the backbone of many power plants. These turbines are responsible for generating the electricity that powers our homes, schools, hospitals and industries. Without them, our modern lives would be very different. But how do they work? What makes them so efficient and reliable? It's all about harnessing the power of steam. Steam turbines convert thermal energy from steam into mechanical energy. In simple terms, a steam turbine is like a giant high-speed windmill driven by steam instead of wind. Pretty cool, right? But there's more to it than just spinning blades. This steam is created by heating water in a boiler. As the water heats up, it turns into steam, which then expands and pushes against blades on a rotor, making it spin really fast. This spinning motion is the key to generating electricity. The rotor is connected to a generator, and as it spins, it produces electrical energy that we can use. Steam turbines are everywhere, from massive power plants that supply electricity to entire cities, to smaller scale applications in industries and even ships. They're reliable, efficient and play a crucial role in meeting our global energy demands. Without them we wouldn't be able to sustain the level of energy consumption we have today. So buckle up as we explore the science behind these powerful machines. We'll look at their history, how they're built, and the future innovations that could make them even more efficient. Now let's get under the hood and explore the main components of a steam turbine. These components work together in harmony to convert thermal energy into mechanical energy, which is then transformed into electrical energy. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. We'll break it down step by step so you can understand how each part plays a crucial role in the process. First up, we have the boiler. This is where the magic begins. Think of it as a giant kettle where water is heated to extreme temperatures, creating high-pressure steam. This steam is the lifeblood of the turbine system. This steam is then directed to the turbine itself, traveling through a network of pipes designed to withstand high pressure and temperature. The turbine houses rows of carefully designed blades mounted on a shaft. These blades are engineered to maximize efficiency and withstand the intense force of the steam. As the high-pressure steam blasts through the turbine, it pushes against the blades, causing the rotor to spin rapidly. This spinning motion is crucial for the next stage of the process. This spinning motion is what we're after. It's the mechanical energy that will be converted into electrical energy. It's mechanical energy, just like the gears turning in a car engine. The rotor's rapid spinning is akin to the pistons in a car engine moving up and down. Finally, we have the generator. This is where the mechanical energy is transformed into electrical energy. This crucial component is connected to the spinning turbine rotor. The connection is meticulously designed to ensure efficient energy transfer. As the rotor spins, it turns a magnet inside the generator. This magnet is surrounded by coils of wire. The spinning magnet creates a magnetic field, which induces an electric current in the coils of wire. This process is the key to generating electricity. The electricity generated is then transmitted through power lines to homes and businesses, providing the energy we rely on every day. Creating all that high-pressure steam requires a lot of heat, and that's where fuel sources come in. Different power plants rely on various fuels to generate the necessary heat. Power plants use a variety of fuels to heat the water in the boiler. The choice of fuel can significantly impact the efficiency and environmental footprint of the plant. One common fuel is coal. Coal has been a staple in energy production for decades due to its abundance and high energy content. When coal burns, it releases heat energy that heats the water to create steam. However, burning coal also releases a significant amount of carbon dioxide and other pollutants into the atmosphere. Another fossil fuel, natural gas, can also be used. Natural gas is often considered a cleaner alternative to coal because it produces fewer pollutants and greenhouse gases. It burns cleaner than coal but still releases greenhouse gases. The use of natural gas has grown in recent years due to advancements in extraction technologies like fracking. For a cleaner approach, many power plants use nuclear fission. Nuclear power is a highly efficient way to generate large amounts of electricity without emitting greenhouse gases during operation. In nuclear reactors, atoms are split, releasing tremendous amounts of heat to generate steam. This process is incredibly efficient and can produce a vast amount of energy from a small amount of fuel. And as we look to the future, renewable sources like solar and geothermal energy are becoming increasingly important in powering steam turbines. 
These renewable sources offer the promise of sustainable and environmentally friendly energy production, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels, and helping to combat climate change. Additionally, wind and hydroelectric power are also being integrated into the energy mix, providing even more options for clean energy. The transition from coal to nuclear and beyond is a crucial step in creating a sustainable energy future. As technology advances and our understanding of energy production evolves, the shift towards cleaner and more efficient energy sources will continue to shape our world. The journey from coal to nuclear and renewable energy is not just about power generation, it's about creating a better, healthier planet for future generations. We've talked about how steam is created, but why does it have so much power? It all comes down to the properties of water and the laws of physics. When water is heated, it absorbs energy and transforms into steam. This steam occupies a much larger volume than water. In the confined space of a boiler, this expansion creates immense pressure. This high-pressure steam is like a compressed spring just waiting to be released. When it's channeled into the turbine, it expands rapidly, pushing against the turbine blades with tremendous force. This force is what drives the turbine's rotation, converting heat energy into mechanical energy. Section 5. Magnets and Coils, Generating Electricity now for the really cool part, turning that spinning motion into electricity. This is where magnets and coils come into play, illustrating the amazing connection between magnetism and electricity. Attached to the spinning turbine rotor is a powerful magnet. Surrounding this magnet are stationary coils of wire. Remember, when a magnet moves near a wire, it creates an electrical current. Section 6. The Water Cycle, From Liquid to Steam and Back Again. You might be wondering what happens to all that steam after it spins the turbine. Well, we don't want to waste it. In a closed loop system, the steam is cooled and condensed back into water. This is done using cooling towers, those iconic structures you often see at power plants. Inside the cooling towers, the steam is exposed to cooler air, causing it to condense back into water. This condensed water is then pumped back to the boiler to be heated again, starting the cycle anew. It's a sustainable system that minimizes water usage. Section 7. Power to the People, Distributing Electricity The electricity generated by the steam turbine is still not ready for our homes. It needs to be prepped for distribution across power lines. First, the electricity generated is in the form of alternating current, but it's at a lower voltage than what's needed for long-distance transmission. To increase the voltage and reduce energy loss during transmission, the electricity is sent through a device called a transformer. Transformers use coils and electromagnetic induction, remember Faraday, to step up the voltage. This high voltage electricity is then sent through a network of power lines to substations. At substations, transformers step down the voltage to levels suitable for homes and businesses. Section 8. Steam Turbines, Powering Our World Steam turbines are essential for generating a significant portion of the world's electricity. They are the workhorses of many industries, providing power for manufacturing, transportation, and countless other applications. Their reliability, efficiency, and ability to operate using various fuel sources make them a vital part of the global energy mix. As we transition to cleaner energy sources, steam turbines will continue to play a crucial role. The next time you turn on a light, watch TV, or charge your phone, remember the incredible science and engineering behind steam turbines that make it all possible. Section 9. Conclusion, The Future of Steam As we look to the future, steam turbines will continue to evolve and adapt to meet our changing energy needs. While they have been associated with fossil fuels, they are fuel-flexible and can be readily adapted to utilize renewable energy sources. Research and development are ongoing to improve the efficiency and sustainability of steam turbines. New materials, designs, and integration with renewable energy technologies will shape the future of these remarkable machines. So, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and never stop learning about the amazing world of science and technology.